In this video, I will show you how to add measurements and text in GeoGebra. Here we have triangle ABC, and I'm going to measure the angle sizes as well as the side lengths, and then add some text. To measure the angle sizes, I'm going to select the icon fourth from the right, and here we have the option of an angle, and then I'm also going to use the distance or length. So once selecting the angle, if I hover over the icon, it tells me what to do. Select three points or select two lines. Remember that we always measure anti-clockwise. So if I, for example, want to measure angle B, I'm going to select line BC first and then line AB. And then the angle is 60,26. Angle A, once again, anti-clockwise is AB to AC, and then angle C is AC to BC. Now I've measured all three angle sizes, and I'm going to change the option to the distance. And here I simply click on the line, and the distance or length will be given. Next, you can always then neaten this up. At the moment, we have angle sizes of two decimals, and if you go to your options, right at the top, you can change the decimals by choosing the rounding option of, for example, zero decimals. And now you will see that everything is an integer. Now I can also move those values around, but before I do that, I have to choose the moving option, and then I can just move them so that they can be seen more clearly. You can then also change the appearance of the angle sizes or side lengths. So for example, if I want those angle sizes to also be black, I'm going to right click once I've selected them and then select object properties. And here, if I now go to color, I can make it black. And then here you also have the option once again of opacity. So you can make it a bit darker or you can make it completely see-through angles. At the moment, it gives the angle name and the size. So if you only want the size, you can go to basics and then say at showing label, only the value and not the name as well. So once again, a whole lot of options you can change in the properties of the object. Now that I have all my measurements, I am going to deselect my angles and then I'm going to add text. To add text, you use the second icon from the right and there the second option is text. So if I now click anywhere, a text window will appear. So I'm going to say in triangle, get a triangle, I'm going to symbols and then you will see at the basic symbols, there we have a triangle and I've inserted my triangle, and this is triangle A, B, C. And now I can, for example, say that in this triangle A, B is six units or six centimeters. Once I'm done typing, I say OK, and my text will appear. If I select the moving option or icon, I can now move this text around to wherever I want it in the picture. And finally, I will prefer to remove the grid. So I right click and click on grid. And here I've now added angle sizes, side lengths, and some text.